Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode with my flea market finds. I believe that this is episode number 21. I went this Saturday at the flea market and I found the, these items you see on my desk. Well, um, probably you know there is an entrance fee of 3 lays or approximately 0 0.61 euros or 0 0.59 American dollars and I must tell you that all that you can see here on my desk and the entrance fee cost me a total of 80 lays or only 16.21 euros or 15.76 American dollars and let me start this video with the writing instruments and then I will show you the other items I found at the flea market. So for the person watching this video interested only in uh, writing instruments, the first part of it will be of the writing instruments. And in fact, I found uh, only two writing instruments, but I think they are quite, quite interesting. And let's start with this fountain pen. I bought it as it is without its uh, cap and I instantly recognize it is a Flaro product and probably you know I've stopped collecting uh, Romanian fountain pens and now I'm concentrating on other uh, interesting brands mainly German brands from the 1950s but why did I bought this fountain pen? As you can see it has an interesting thermically engraving which is also called uh, painted and it's written Fruct Export Romania so the exports of fruits Romania so this is definitely a fountain pen from communist Romania and I bought it because it is the first time that I've seen this foreign export firm you must know in communist times they needed hard currency mainly dollars and Deutsche Marks or sterling pounds and they created these firms that exported different different products to western countries from the western bloc the capitalist bloc and this is an interesting interesting find the first time i've seen this romanian export firm that exported fruits and uh, what did i paid for this pan it has um, i'm sorry guys it has an interesting system like um, piston filler integrated you you can't take this like uh, an ink converter but um, i believe it's not functional because i tested it in water to see if it draws the water but it moves um, i think it uh, doesn't create the vacuum to draw the um, water or the ink what did i pay for it well considering it doesn't have its cap i paid only five lays for this interesting uh, fountain pen or 1.01 euros or 0 0.99 american dollars let me put this aside guys here and let's move on to the next interesting piece and as you can see i have trouble lifting it from my office desk it is quite quite a slim ballpoint pen it is a metallic ballpoint pen and um, it is uh, painted in this gold uh, uh, color and uh, it has those interesting flowers drawn on the barrel this is a ballpoint pen guys i'm not so sure i did not open till now so it has a simple metallic mine a ballpoint mine and um, i bought it because it is slim and i found it to be very very elegant let me see if it posts it should post yes it posts it is a very very slim so if i compare it with the other fountain pen which is quite slim in its own right you can see the difference this is very very narrow and interesting probably made for ladies 
I paid for it 20 lays or 4.05 euros or 3.94 American dollars. And let's move on to the other objects. As you can see on my desk, I found another three monkeys. I already have this. It is also a metallic piece and uh, here it is uh, narrow, but quite, quite interesting. Well, I bought this piece you see over here and I paid for it around 20 lays or 4.05 euros or 3.94 American dollars. They are quite, quite nice. Uh, they have a little, um, let me see, a flaw to them, and I don't know if you see, there is a little crack here between those two monkeys, right here, but uh, it is barely visible. Well, when I bought this, I, I, I've discovered after I bought it that it had so a piece here, a metallic piece. I'm not so sure what uh, this is used for, but it was uh, stuck inside of it. Well, <laughs> I paid again for those two items around four euros or four American dollars. Let me put them right over here. And now, guys, let's move on. Probably the bargains of uh, the flea were those two pieces. I like to collect small boxes where I store small, small jewelries or fountain pen nibs. And I found this interesting, interesting uh, small uh, pocket change wallet. I believe that this is leather. And if we open it, it's, it has uh, this interesting material like a velvet. And um, I did not pay a large sum of money for it, so I think that this is uh, the deal of the day. I paid only one leo for this, or approximately 0 0.20 euros or 0 0.20 American dollars. So 20 euro cents or 20 American cents for this interesting, interesting old wallet or purse. I don't know how to call it. Okay, guys. And also for this interesting box, I paid only one leo. And remember guys, when you buy small boxes, please check them out because you are in for a surprise. As I was surprised when I found this item. And I did a little bit of research and this is like a mobile holder. You can put it like this, you can put your mobile phone like this and use it to watch movies or something like this. This is an interesting and clever idea. It seems like brand new. It, it, it isn't uh, worn or something like that. And I found it in this old, old box. And again, I paid for this old box. And by the way, guys, this is a uh, wood. This is wood, a wooden box. It has this, la this beautiful layer like skin or something like that, but I don't think it's as really uh, real skin, I'm not so sure, but it was uh, at a good price, so only one leo. Again, 20 euro cents or 20 American cents for this interesting box, and this was bonus because I found it inside of it. And uh, I left uh, the beautiful ones for the last. I have two items here and I bought them as a lot, guys. I paid for both of them 30 lace or 6.08 euros or 5.91 American dollars. So uh, uh, around 3 euros or 3 American dollars a piece. And I will start with this beautiful, beautiful small box. It has, um, I believe, painted on it this owl. And uh, on the sides, uh, there are also interesting motifs. It has this beautiful, beautiful blue uh, side to it. And if we open it, it has the same beautiful, beautiful blue lacquer. So for only three, three euros, I think I'm, I've uh, made a deal. 
I don't know what I can store in this because it's quite quite tiny as you can see but it is a nice piece let me see yes I've managed to close it so this and this I've searched on the internet and I believe that this was made in Spain for tourists it has this fish and uh, there are other motifs here I believe that they were used for aperitifs so like uh, this you used uh, on uh, festive tables and they have this marine theme a little horsey and um, a little fish and other other interesting interesting motifs so I have five I believe there were originally eight of them but I bought them as uh, it is so um, I bought them as a um, as a pack with that beautiful beautiful small box and again I paid uh, around uh, three euros or three American dollars for this interesting interesting decorative piece and those were my uh, founds at the flea market like i told you i'm on a limited budget and nowadays guys i must tell you that i f rarely find fountain pens at the flea market when i find fountain pens and uh, especially if they have the gold nib the sellers demand large large sum of money for them and um I'm not so sure. Maybe maybe the market is uh, changing in my country. Maybe the sellers are aware that uh, lots of us collect fountain pens. Mm, the trouble at the flea market is you don't have the possibility to test the fountain pen. So probably if it is an old fountain pen, you have to spend money to restore its filling mechanism. And uh, sometimes when uh, you are excited buying a fountain pen with a gold nib, you must be very, very careful to study that nib. Because if one of the tiny, tiny legs or tip of the nibs has lost that iridium coating, then probably the cost of restoring that nib is very prohibitive. So you, when you buy a, um, a piece at a f flea market, you never know what you get. You never know what you can get. So my advice to you guys is negotiate. Always negotiate. Don't be bothered if the seller wants a high amount of money. Uh, you always make a counter offer and you will see if you um, receive a positive response or not but bear in mind that after you buy a vintage an old object from a flea market you must restore it you must clean it you must do some research because you never know what you can get guys always do your research and uh, probably you will see that you will get rewarded for your work so this was my episode guys i hope you've enjoyed it as you can see i'm sorry only two writing instruments maybe i will have better luck next time if you've enjoyed this episode please subscribe to my channel to support my activity i will see you at the next episode of flea market finds i hope that i can show you some interesting fountain pens Till then, bye-bye guys, have a wonderful day wherever you are, and God bless you all.